Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is steering geometry. In that, we will study camber. Camber is the tilt of the front wheel from the vertical plane. You can see this is tilt okay, of the front wheel. This is the left front wheel and this is right front wheel. So it is tilt of the front wheel from the vertical plane. When the tilt is outward, okay, is called positive camber and when the tilt is inward, it is called as negative camber. In this diagram, it is shown as positive camber. The wheels are given positive camber to start so that when the vehicle is loaded, okay, so that when the vehicle is loaded, they automatically come to vertical position. The positive camber is measured in degree from the vertical plane. The camber angle should not exceed 2 degrees while running. Any amount of camber, positive or negative, tend to cause more rapid tire wear because under this condition, most of the load is shared by one side of the tire. Therefore, it is clear that tire's life will be maximum when the camber angle in the running condition is zero. So this was regarding camber, positive and negative camber. Kingpin inclination. Kingpin inclination is the inward tilt of the kingpin from the vertical plane. So this is kingpin inclination and now regarding included angle. Included angle or combined angle is the sum of camber and the kingpin inclination. So this was regarding camber. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.